and more tonight on the tension between police and the minority neighborhoods they serve. Some would say those tensions are at an all-time high, which prompted investigative reporter Chad Perdelli to look into the practice of stop and frisk, who was more likely to be stopped and why. This is Chad's report. Mahari Bailey says his first unjustified police stop was in high school. He just took me out the car, searched the car, asked where are the guns, where are the weapons and the drugs. I'm like, dude, I'm in 10th grade. No weapons on you, right? It would not be his last. He says he experienced a handful of others, especially after he became a lawyer. And his cars and his clothes became fancier. They come up to the car, same exact thing. Where are the guns? Where are the drugs? I was walking. But you know, that's not what I saw. An Action News investigation walking. found Philadelphia police stopped 3 million pedestrians and drivers over the past six years. Roughly 70% were black. Blacks make up about 40% of the population in the city. Nothing sharp brain they got. The data shows blacks and Hispanics were twice as likely to get frisked and searched than whites. A critical question over the years, were the stops justified? Almost a majority were being made without legal justification. That is, they didn't have the reasonable suspicion that they were required to have for those stops. Attorney David Rodofsky represented Bailey and a half dozen others in a stop and frisk civil lawsuit against the city a decade ago. It just got to a point where I just said enough is enough. The settlement resulted in a court mandated data collection and a yearly report on stop and frisk practices. While we were seeing 40 or 50 percent of the stops without legal justification, when we started last year, uh, our analysis showed only about 15 percent of the stops without legal justification. You're already starting with the attitude, let's lose it now, all right? According to police data, Action News found in Philadelphia, blacks had the highest percentage of stops but the lowest hit rate, meaning the proportion of successful searches or frisks where contraband was found. The highest hit rate? White women, likely due to targeting prostitution and drugs. We got to make sure that we're using the tool properly. We're using it within the parameters of the law. Like her predecessors, Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw supports the use of stop and frisk. She says police respond to areas where there is more crime. She says the reality is those are predominantly minority neighborhoods. It doesn't mean that we get to cast a wide net on any black or brown male between the ages of 18 and 30 because we think just because you fall into this category, we can do anything that we want. For Bailey, the progress is encouraging, but the pain still lingers. The frustration, the anger, the humiliation, torment, you can't explain it. So it's one of those things that every black man would know what I'm talking about. And Commissioner Outlaw says she will incorporate more training when it comes to stop and frisk, but the tool will remain at the disposal of officers. I'm Action News investigative reporter Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News.